The university scheme returns hard by the undercurrents in the local and regional equity markets. Officials today announcing a loss in that segment. The investment income was uh, 43 billion. Then we have gain on the sale uh, of land, uh, 217 million. Uh, loss or gain on the sale of equities, you can see there a the negative number, 416. Uh, gain on the sale of some treasury bonds, we are not allowed to sell. Definitely, we've, we've had a uh, general decline in yields for the government bonds compared to the years uh, before, like two or three. Of course, we all know that the Uganda shilling is uh, when it's affecting us, and then uh, the end of performance in the equities market, especially in Nairobi Stock Exchange, and even here locally. That has really affected the performance of the scheme generally, right? And we all know that uh, Macquarie University retirement benefit scheme plays in the same sector. The scheme, however, added some 10 billion shillings in returns from the previous financial year, income from a range of investments from government paper to real estate. The investments executed during the year resulted in two a net return of 42 billion. Now, 42 billion put it uh, out of the whole amount at the beginning of the year. But on its balance sheet, date owed to trustees on account of contributions between financial year 2013-14 to 2015. Today's financial statement shows to date 70% has been recovered. As you are aware, Chair, MAPS sued Makerele University and the court ruled that we must remit all outstanding benefits to MAPS. And through a consent operation order, it was agreed that the government will pay directly to MAPS. And uh, although it has been a bit slow, government has made some considerable progress in remitting that money. But there are some significant challenges, and we have been trying to negotiate with MAPS and not made headway. We have retirees who are either critically ill, and their only line of hope is this money. We also have retirees with very little money and have held up on university houses. Half year 2023, this statement shows the scheme had 8,229 active to 3,041 and deferred 5,182 members.